hello and welcome back to another video as you can see it has snowed uh, but because I live in Ireland um, we got fuck all of it we got like two or three uh, millimeters of it <laughs> um, so uh, right I have to put in a bale uh, this time I only have to put in one um, and I'll show you the reason why, but I've, I sort of explained the reason why in the last uh, video, but I didn't explain it because, I didn't explain it in the way that I only have to put in one bale. Um, anyways, I, I'll show you why uh, now. Right, so as you've seen in the last uh, video, I uh, was putting a pile of manure into a wheelbarrow and then wheeling it into the box. But this time there's two relatively small piles. That's because um, the dung is coming out of three pence this time. Luckily, she'll be going in on the schlats with the calf, with the other two, uh, in the weekend. So thanks be to God, there'll be some uh, less dung. Um, but anyways, I have to get the I have to get the one three five and back it in to as far as it'll go here, and it should be easy to draw the dung. Um, to it and then we have to get the the international and put one bale in split it in half and leave one half for for this bay and then the other half up there for that bay anyways let's get on to the 135 and let's get started
Well, that box is fairly full. Whether I go with it today or tomorrow, I don't know. It, um, it really depends on the, the wintry conditions outside because it's snow, well, there's snow on the ground and ice, so um, it really depends whether I, I go with it uh, today or tomorrow. And when I mean go with it, it's, uh, we don't really have a legal uh, dump pit here on our own farm. We do um, use a, a neighbour's uh, dump pit, which has a roof over it and all the uh, the legal stuff. So we go over there and sort of empty our box of dung over there and he allows us. We give him some work to do, we pay him. So um, we have a, we have a good agreement going on. Um, and he, But uh, he does be around the farm a lot and he's not the type of person that wants a camera to be around his place recording and all that. So uh, I do respect his privacy and I do respect his decision. So um, as far as the empty in the box of dung goes, um, for now anyways, uh, we won't be able to record that unfortunately.
Now that's the bale put in. As I mentioned, we were only going putting in one. Obviously, this one here is for the back end of the Schladded house. And this one is for the front end of the Schladded house. Um, I'll plant the camera somewhere and throw them a bit. Uh, but first, um, we need to check on the water. Um, I need to give that barrel to uh, that black one anyways. So, if we can climb the gate, someone in a short hole book, turn on the tap without falling. Actually, the it seems that the water could be frozen. Well, not the, well, the water as well, but the drinkers, the taps. Um, let's, let's check. No, and there's also a big bit of dung there that we'll have to clean out as well. Right, uh, let's make sure the black cow gets up. I'm going to get a pair of gloves and I'm going to clean that out. Alright, that's that drinker cleaned out. Um, I used the glove and I just scooped the shit up, put my hand and throw it away. And then I just started filling the, this up with water and then splashing the water out that just to clean the water as well. But I couldn't do that with the uh, camera in my hand. The other ones seem to be clean enough. I don't know about that one in there. I'll have to climb in and check it. Uh, there's no shit in it, it's clean enough.
Right, that's um, all them fed, as you can see. Um, this stuff was um, yesterday's stuff, or the previous bale. Um, I just scattered out in front of these cows here, um, just to see will they eat it. So, you know, it's morning time now, because I'm feeding in the morning. Um, so uh, what I'll do is I'll go up and have the breakfast, and when I come down, if they haven't touched any of that yet, I'll just probably have to throw them into the box and then throw them some fresh stuff. So um, um, we'll go over now and take away the barrel of water. Um, but I think that's more or less that done until I come back down again after the breakfast. And she has silage there. She has plenty of silage. I don't know if you can see it, but there's that barrel is definitely full. So she has enough silage as well. Um, I say the camera isn't picking it up right. I say she has enough water now until I come down again after the breakfast. She didn't drink much of it. Anyways, um, I think that's frozen. I might try that again later on today because when I turned it on. I didn't hear the water filling, um, so I'll leave that and see what it will throughout the day. I might come down after the breakfast and try it out again, but that's that for now. Anyways, yes, um, I'm going to go up to have the breakfast anyways, because it took a while having to set up cameras and move them about the place. It, um, puts an extra about half an hour to an hour on the job so when I come back down again if they haven't that out uh, we might throw it out there or we might just throw it straight into the box and then we'll just feed them some fresh stuff and we'll fill that cow's water and if they need to be replenished as well with silage we'll replenish, we'll replenish them and the black cow that's here with the ring in her nose um, she's still not using the, the the drinker, so we're still using the barrel to to give her water. So when I come back down again, I might um, put the barrel up against the barrier again and see will she drink uh, water out of it because she didn't drink fecal out of it the first time. But yes, I'm going to go up to have the breakfast, and I'll see you when I come down again. All right, so I'm back. They didn't really eat much of that stuff, so what I'll do is I'll uh, just push it and pile it in where the, the dung was this morning or a couple of minutes ago in this in this video and I'll just grape them some fresh stuff and that'll be them fed. The rest of them are all right. I fed them earlier in the video. They have a lot of it scattered as per usual. But uh, anyways, we get this scraped away. And we'll give them from uh, we'll give them some fresh stuff.
Right, so there's uh, the pile of silage that the cows didn't eat and the bee dung from uh, the three pens piled up on top of that and that will be loaded into the box then probably um, well either this evening or tomorrow morning or tomorrow evening depends whenever whenever the the, the bale is whenever that bale is gone we do back in we'll back into 135 again like we've done earlier on in this video and that's what the process is going to be like until this makeshift pen is up and we also give the cow water I don't know how much of that you can see but there's water in there anyways now the next job is to um, go over to the far side there check that the tap defrost and fill that water and then push the barrel of water in front of the barrier to seal the I can't even speak English today. Push the barrel of water in front of the barriers to see does that black cow uh, want any more water. Seems like the tap has uh, thawed out because you can hear the water um, filling up in the drinker, which we didn't hear this morning. Anyways, the black cow was waiting, so she might... Want some Alright, that's going to be the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please give me a like. And don't forget to subscribe and put the notification bell on so you never miss a video. And I'll see you in my next one very soon. Take care.